Okay, in this step, what we're going to do is turn on hardware shading. So that's going to stop this being in a wireframe view and make it look more solid. Um, but then we're going to notice that we can't see through it anymore, and that's going to make it very difficult to work with as a room. So we're going to change that setting as well. So first of all, uh, we need to turn on hardware shading. Now, there are a couple of ways to do this. Um, you can either click on this here, which smooth shades everything. Crack him. And you can go back by clicking wireframe or my personal favorite and much quicker is just to press number five on your keyboard there we go that looks lovely now doesn't it um, but as you can see that now creates the problem that um, we can't see inside it so I'm going to change that next and we need to do that over two steps um, making sure that your cube is selected you're going to go to your normals menu and then you're going to click on reverse it should go nice and orange looking that's good don't click anything at this point otherwise you cock it up um, the next thing we're going to do is turn on back face culling um, which means that it hides the face closest to you so we're going to do that by clicking on display going down to polygons and then clicking on back face culling and there you can see once you deselect it that you can now see inside that room so let's have a little look at that and you can see that whichever faces are closest to you become see-through. That's exactly what I want. And the only other thing left to do is to turn the grid off in this view because it's just going to get in the way. So click on that, the grid's done. Another step completed.